Well, we're over here at the lathe on the Logan again. I got that new uh, gear uh, chucked up in here. It's going to need a keyway. And we're going to profile the sides of the gear and bring it to thickness uh, to match to match this gear. So this has a little bit of a hub and a little depression here. So we're going to profile each side of this to match this up. A bit so not too much about 37 or something thousandths off of that out part and stuff so yeah not too bad so we'll do it to each side but I just wanted to show you this is how I uh, if some of you might have seen this tool on the homemade homemade tools.net website uh, where I post uh, a lot of the tools I've, I've made so this is how I use it I have it set up on the ID of the gear to uh, dial it in. It might be moving a tenth, maybe two at the very, very most. That, that's how I do it. So if you can see the dial, there's the dial. There, let me see if I can shade that. Basically zero movement now, so it's dialed in pretty good. I just wanted to show that. I'll get going on the turn in here. So first cut, we're going to take off 40 thousandths across there uh, in thickness. Last cut on the second side of the gear. And we'll cut it up to the hub there and be done with this part. And then we'll just we'll leave it in the I'm gonna leave it in the lathe and I'm gonna broach it in the lathe. Make a broaching tool and just broach it out. It's only a six millimeter key, so shouldn't take too long to do. It's been slow going here, running at 47 RPM, and like 14,000 speed rate per rev, but uh, that gave me the best surface finish and best cut, so that's the way it is. If I could do this on the big lathe, I could probably run it a lot faster, because I have well, more horsepower. So, but this, uh, this is what it turned out, so it took a little while to do this. cutting real nice it's Well, actually, 14 thousandths is not that. It's a, it's a quarter of what that is, really. So, it's like three and a half thousandths. Actually, they came out really nice. So, like I said, I'm just going to leave it in there. It's all centered up and... Uh, We'll broach that out. 
Let me zoom that in. There's a cutting that keyway in there. Just needs to be a little bit deeper. A few thousandths at a time, four or five thousandths at a time there. Make four or five passes there each time, uh, every adjustment. There, perfect. Perfect fit. That little bushing uh, goes in there and then it goes on a shaft. So. Oh yeah, that's very nice, very nice. Uh, so I think we'll just, uh, we'll just leave it right there. Okay, that gear is uh, done. Well, you guys, I uh, got the uh, apron all back together. Came out okay. It's kind of a quick paint job. I kind of dinged a little bit, but there's a lot of work to put it all back together. You can see the bushings in there, the new gear right there. Everything uh, half nut. The, uh, your uh, shifting mechanism for uh, carriage feed or cross feed so we're gonna put it back on the uh oops i huh? no you always forget one part right that's for the uh threading dial that just screws in over here so yep there we go we'll uh, get it on the lathe